What's going on guys? Nanny Mahir here bringing another awesome video. Yeah, we're out here at the abandoned lake. I'm on the boat with my dad. And now, uh, sun just rose. It's like 6 o'clock in the morning or something. And now, uh, look at that. Yeah, big dark cloud. And that big white thing moved in hella quick. Can I literally, I can literally hear it. Why is this moving in so fast? I don't know. I can hear it too. I can, I'm starting to feel wind. Holy shit. Uh, should we be moving? Uh, I think we should be going. And we're fishing. And, and we're fishing. Um, <laughs> yeah. I hear it. I hear it too. Um. Is that a windstorm? Uh-oh. Like <laughs> Uh-oh. It's a tornado. Oh shit, it's wrapped around your fucking line. Quit wrapping. Um, we need to go. We need to go like now. Up. Wish us luck. We gotta get the hell out of here. Peace. So it's uh still coming, man. And that cloud is moving really quick. It's about to go over the sun. I can see how dark it is. That's freaking nuts. I don't know what the heck's coming, but man, it got windy real quick. Kind of crazy. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it was, it was strange. Alright, we'll talk to you later. Alright, see you later. So, we hit the shore. The giant white cloud moved in real quick. Came over us real fast. Now it's gone. With a lot of wind. Still a little breezy. The black cloud that's behind it is now over top of us, as you can see. Blew over there and slightly blew over there. And it was the craziest thing we ever seen. Uh, it was super calm, sunny, and all of a sudden, just like that. Cool breeze, too. It was freaking nuts. I've never seen anything like that in my life. Uh-oh. That's definitely strange. That's crazy. So what are we going to do to me? <laughs> Along the side, the wind shouldn't blow us that much in the weeds. All right, I guess we'll go fishing and we'll let you guys know if we catch a fish. But yeah, I went and picked up my dad from Traverse City, came back to my area and fishing on the abandoned lake. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this video. If you do, remember to give it a thumbs up and uh, like and subscribe. Yeah, <laughs> we'll catch you guys when we catch a fish. <laughs> that was the funniest thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> my dad cast out this frog <laughs> and it's all tangled so it's rolling across the pads <laughs> and it got to right here and a fucking big fish came and tried to grab it <laughs> scared the hell out of him <laughs> that was funny it was like right there <laughs> that was great let's see if we can do that again holy crap look at the gills dad they're huge oh my god we need some bait Oh my god, there's hundreds of them. Look how big they are. Dad, these gills are huge. Are you serious? Hand size? Look. I see that one right there. There's more than one. Man, there's a big one right there. Holy shit. <laughs> Bunch Is that of big one gills. I hope not. That's a damn big blue there were some big gills right there. Oh man, there's a bunch more. Man, we need some worms. Those are some freaking big gills. Holy crap. So we are out here at the abandoned lake. The beach is right right there. And uh, we're just over here in this little pocket where the stream comes in. Man, look at all those gills down there. I wonder if I can catch one if I put a little grub in the water. I'm going to try it. 
So I caught the first fish on a piece of my piece of gum. Yes, he did. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful color on this thing, if it would focus. Holy shit, bass. What the fuck? Oh, holy shit. It's like this. Hell yeah, we need, we need that. Holy crap. It was, the bass was where we were started. Yeah. What the heck? I don't know. I can't believe I just saw that thing. Was it a good size one? At least over 12 inches. Well, I mean, that's the start. Probably up the what the heck? Oh, hey, there's my beer. <laughs> See them? Yeah, there's after definitely after those little minnows. Some little minnows what the heck? Up. If we can catch some of them fuckers. The minnows or, yeah, the, the, minnows or the frogs or anything. Yeah, live bait's live where it's bait. at. Yeah, We're going to catch some live bait. For Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Fast. My gosh, okay, so we hook up, we both hook on some frogs, okay, we got some frogs in it, and we're a little worm oh, container. We both cast out here on the beach, as you can see, the got super nice again, and uh, I caught a little bass, and I dropped him, and he landed in the water and took off, but my dad, my dad got another one, can't show much of that one right now, but, yeah, I can't show B-L-O-D on YouTube, because I don't want to get demonetized, but he caught a decent, did, did he swallow it? I got it, look at that. Oh, yeah, it's, he's, he's bleeding. Oh. But anyways, yeah, my dad caught another a decent-sized one here, just right here. You're like, holy crap. That's the one I saw. Freaking about time. There's you hooked it good, Dad. Oh, my God. Yeah, the hook's right there. Go. All right, I got to help him real quick. We'll show you guys. <laughs> we had that to do was surgery. That freaking sweet. <laughs> no fish. <laughs> couldn't, couldn't show that. He's alive. He swam away, uh, but I do believe he's out there fooling around now because he's, uh, he's a snapper he's, bait now. He's a little injured. Oh yeah, Dad, look, he's on top of the surface. He had it down to go pretty good, and all you fishermen out there know that there's eh? not much you can do about that. But uh, I mean, it was only one, one like gill. He might make it. So he should know. make it. He's just a little peed off right now. <laughs> I didn't. It didn't get cut none. He just got a little banged up. Yeah. So we should be all right. He's still splashing around over there until the snap turtle comes and gets him. Like he's really causing some commotion. I bet you Why does he look so big? Looking at it. What? It looks like there was this turtle there. No, Why did that? Doesn't. Whatever that was look so large. Uh, because there's another fish there checking him out probably. It looked big. That's not just a bass, is it? Oh! What the? And something just ate it. What was that? What? That bass was huge. Whatever just ate that, just swallowed the whole thing. Oh, you, did you record that? I just got that on video. That fish is gone. Yeah. Whatever just ate that bass, just that swallowed bass it. That bass was 10 inches easy. That bass was at least this 10 to 12 thing. inches, and something just ate it whole. It's gone. Are you see? It was flopping around on the water. I was recording it, and all of a sudden, splash, and it's gone. Either he took off in a hurry, or That's something just ate it whole. We need to get out there. Oh, my God. That's a big bass. <laughs> you know, the, the train of events is oh happening. God, it's insane. Are you serious? Something just ate that fish off the water. It's he was gone. out there flopping. Oh my god! So we gotta get this is freaking nuts. I promise you, we'll show the fish for now on. But we we'll get more. Don't worry. Right, this is freaking nuts, man. This. I just want to go more fishing. This I, I wish I had my tripod. I'd actually just just put it down and let you guys see us catching these. But <laughs> are you leaking? Are you leaking? or Are you doing something else? No, I'm catching more frogs. Oh well, we got more in the box. I know, but I was trying to save them for later. Yeah, we guess we should probably do that. But yeah, let's catch some more. Peace. So this is Larry. My mom just texted me, said she was up now. And uh, I caught this fish right here on my frog that I still got. So, see you, Larry. Tell me the hot spot. Just fucking cast it right out here, man. Right. That's probably perfect. Yeah, you're going to get one perfect. You got the weight on there, too? Nope. Then how come you're fishing on top of the water? Because uh, there's something on it. Already? What? what? He got off. He took it. Oh my god, he took you twice. We need to get more frogs. This is. Not, oh my god. I gotta hook him. I don't How did you lose it that. What the heck? Something grabbed it that I didn't even see it grab it. Bubbles.
turtle? I don't know, but that was, I felt it go. You're like, you won't get something right here. Oh, he's down there swimming. Look at this. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's down there swimming across. The All right, hang on, we'll catch back to you. We'll try to catch another fish here. All right, so I had something to eat my frog. Oh my gosh, he's on there. I hooked him. He's on there. It's hard to reel and film at the same time. Oh, he went down in the weeds real quick. There he is. Alright, I got him. Look at that. Oh, Jesus. Don't jump off. Frog's gone. That's our always barely hooked. Look at that. Nice another little bass here. Man, why are we catching all those small ones? I know there's giants in here. Dad, turn around, look at me. <laughs> he caught a fish real quick. <laughs> I thought I did. <laughs> Alright, so I unhooked it and we're gonna name this one Johnsonville Brats. <laughs> See you later, Johnsonville Brats. Woo! I like to eat. <laughs> Are you reeling your frog? Cast it out there, you'll you'll nail one. And he hooked up just like that. Told you that was fast. Real quick, and just there like goes my froggy. There goes your frog and looks like he swallowed that hook. Son of a pooper. <laughs> why does that always why do they always swallow it on you? He must have took it before I set the hook. I Told you man, you just let it drop it down real quick. What them players do? Uh, I didn't know we had any out. Oh, okay. Man, this is quick. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Hold it up when you're done. Give it a name. <laughs> Dumb shit. <laughs> you're dumb shit. <laughs> See you later, dumb shit. <laughs> dumb shit's probably gonna come back and have his friend eat my frog. Oh, never mind, it's already gone. <laughs> it's gone. Yep. So we're trying to catch this mystery thing out here. It's completely gone now, but we saw two of them in there. It came out of the water, and it was red. And it was two times that it came out of the water, and it looked red. But they didn't go for our frog. And now it's just, it's completely gone now. I told you that. It's something crazy weird out here. And it, it moves around a lot. We never We can never figure out what it is. Freaking nuts. It's completely gone now, but it'll be back. But my dad's fishing in the deep depth, dark, darkness down there. So if there's something down there, it should eat it. Hopefully a giant. We'll let you guys know. So I hooked out another frog, cast it right over there on the other side of that log. So far, so good. We, we got another little guy. We're, we're after some bigger ones. See a turd. We're after some bigger ones, but, and we know there's bigger ones. And after seeing what was on this fish I just had, <laughs> are you hopping your frog across the pads? Yep. <laughs> oh yeah, my dad's smoking like always. And uh, there's there's actually pike in here. Uh, oh, that bass. Know. Ate the bass, bass ate that, something ate that freaking bass that was on the shore over there. And then we see something large in the middle of the lake. And now something like two huge grab marks on this, you know, 10 inch bass. The only thing it could be is a pike. Because you can see the marks and there's there's guy. nothing else in here that has teeth that would have teeth. I don't know. I don't know. Not like that. We're completely baffled. We're confused. Pike. Dogfish. I don't know. Had to been something. Pike or dogfish? I, I don't know. No it's crazy. Fish. We don't know what's going on, but we're trying our hardest to catch something big for you guys. So stay tuned and bear with us, and we'll show you guys when we catch another one. And the lens was dirty the whole time. I didn't even notice. That's better. All right, we'll catch back up to you here when we catch another fish. Peace. Excuse me. Can I help you? Hey, bud. Hello. Do you mind getting the hell off my arm? 
<gasps> Excuse me. <gasps> Come on. Go somewhere else. He's just moving away from the camera. <laughs> I can't focus on him. He's so little. <gasps> oh, I didn't mean to kill you, poor thing. God damn it, I'm sorry. All right, here. I put you right there. Sorry. All right. All right. I'm glad you're okay. I didn't mean to blow you off into the water, but geez. All right, so we moved tremendously. This little guy is still here. I didn't mean to climb up my finger. I'm not... I saved your life and now you love me. What the heck do you want me to do? I could throw you in the water. Can you fly? Oh, you can flap your wings. That's good. Can you fly or what? Get off me! Can you just get back down there then? Get down or get off me. Off me. Off me. I didn't say go sideways onto me more. No. Ugh, son of a pickles. What do you want? Not a pickle. I'd appreciate it if you... Oh. Okay, he's in the boat. So all you dragonfly lovers, it's still alive. And it won't leave me alone. I'm not going to take it home. Although it is cute. Now, are you good, Dad? What did you, what do you got going on over there? A mess and a, a fish jumped right here. All right, I'm going to catch it. Watch. So we went through our frogs. We got a whole new batch now. And we're, we, we caught them like right up through here. And um, you guys want to see real quick? <clears throat> Only real quick though. Like, and I mean real quick because they like to jump out. One, two, go. Whoa! Get your ass back in there. Okay. Yeah, see, that was quick. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, so we're going to try to catch some big ones. Wish us luck. One hour later. We just endured a really bad thunder and lightning storm. All of a sudden, it was started getting windy and breezing, thunder and lightning, freaking poured all over everything. And the tent almost blew away. Cracks of lightning so freaking loud. It's ridiculous. Our fire pit flooded. Our fire pit flooded. All of our wood is wet. We were debating on putting these bricks right here inside the tent so it would quit blowing away. It was a freaking big tent. But uh, we're doing all right now. Everything's all wet. And and then people showed up to go down there swimming. So, yeah. Having fun? Yeah. <laughs> Me too. But I've, I've been noticing this freaking bucket over here since I got here. That was a tent stake. There's a bucket over here, and I've been wanting to go check it out. My dad's getting wood over there. But there's a bucket over here, and I'm, I'm thinking it's a poop bucket, you know, for people to do number twos out here. But I'm going to check it out, because I might need it. What? Under the bucket. Uh, no, the beer that was in the bucket is completely dry. Oh, nice. So we got cardboard too. All right, let's have a beer. <laughs> All right, let's have a beer. <laughs> Cheers. Can grab this. Holy shit, it's dry. It's dry. We got paper. And we can, yes, there was beer under the bucket. Holy crap. I swear to God, this was not mine. There's another bucket over there. It's a white one. Now it's probably full of poo poo. See the white bucket over there? Over there. Yeah, that's a white bucket. But I swear to God, the beers in the bucket were not ours. Our beer's right there. Oh, yeah, our beer's right here. Look, it's the same thing, yes, but that's our beer. This is not our beer. They were stashed under that bucket. I wanted to go see what was under the bucket, and there was beer under the bucket. I thought it was a poop bucket. Not the poop bucket. So you trusted it? I did. I trusted to see what it was. Apparently, uh, yeah. the benefit was beer, not poop. I definitely benefited from the poop bucket. <laughs> so, we need more paper. I'm going to have some tater chips. 
now that everything is soaking freaking wet. <sighs> yeah. That sucks. Gosh! She hit me in the butt with that. And I'm sitting down. Megan just chucked this at me. Alright. Oh, perfect catch! Oh, shoot. That's all right. We need to. I'm gonna let you guys go for a minute. Just stay tuned. We're heading down towards the water. Cause uh, I want to see what the storm looks like up over the. Oh, excuse me, over the lake. Not the hiccups like always. Got a beer and a bag of chips. Hey, ain't no better than that. I've never went down that way, but it looks like the water went down that way. Yeah, yeah somebody drugged their feet. <laughs> Can you imagine what the water looked like flowing down this hill? Yeah. If you had a tube, you could have probably floated on it. That's how much rain we had. It was pouring like crazy. But going down by the water. Come on, kids. Stay away from everybody else. Anyways, everybody's down here swimming. It's still raining like crazy down here. Once you get out of the water, you can see it raining a lot. Oh. Hey there, puppy. Hey there, puppy. Okay. There's a bunch of puppies down here. People down here swimming. Absolutely freaking amazing. Like, just, just look at this. It's out. It's freaking pouring out here. We've got people in here so out here swimming. Yeah, it's coming down now. Yeah, it's coming down. It's pouring now. I'm gonna shut you guys out for a minute. Peace. So I resorted to my GoPro. We basically got everything packed up on our camping trip, you know, and everybody's in here, and uh, it sucked because everything got flooded. I'm freaking soaked. Megan is soaked. We're just carrying stuff up the hill from the boat, everything else. We're going to strap the tent to the car because... Come take a look. Ooh. Still freaking raining. It hasn't stopped. We're just going to strap the tent to the car. It's too heavy to pick up. It's full of water. This is a 15 or this is a 12 person cabin tent. You know, I mean, look at it. It's full of water. There's nothing we can do right now. We're just gonna have to lift it to the top of the car, put all the poles in the in the tent, and lift it up there and strap it down, take it to her mom's, let it lay in the yard until it's a sunny day, and along with the boat. Because we really have no other choice. It's a good thing our parents live out here. Like, look at the fire pit. I mean, yeah, there's diapers and stuff from the kids. They got soaked. We all got soaked. All this trash. Someone will be out here, I'm sure, in full beers. Like, uh, I can't, I can't pick any of this up right now because everything is soaked and I have no room in the car. Someone will be out here; they'll burn it. It's not a big deal. You know how much trash that I've done, that I've burned from other people. Other people will do it for us. It's not a big deal, you know. But for a predicament like this, it kind of sucks because we really have no other choice. There was a literal waterfall going down the hill it was thunder and lightning we wanted to get the heck out of here figured i'd document this to show you guys exactly what's going on with us right now so yeah best camping trip of our lives right comment down below let us know what you think about this amazing camping trip and to let you guys know i haven't been to bed last night so still going yeah the freaking boat is right here I have dumped the boat three times. We drugged it up the hill in the freaking rain. This freaking sucks, man. I guess we'll catch up to you guys maybe when we get back to the house or something. Because we got to get this done. So take it easy, everybody. What? So it started downpouring really bad. Everything we own got soaked and the tent started flooding inside. 
So we made a drastic decision to pack up everything and leave camp, which was really hard to do considering everything was soaked. So this is now our ride out of the abandoned lake. So we're trying to get out of Wayland, and it's really flooded. It's very, very bad. Might take us a while to get out, but we'll get out. It'll take us some time. Side. What side's better? The higher side, probably, right? Yeah. Let him do this one. Let off on the gas. Well, that's uh, that's deep. Wow. Okay, we barely made that. How did we make the first one? And now it's going to another deep one. Look at all the river water. Oh my god, this is nuts. I can't believe the car hasn't stalled out yet. Just, uh, if you, you just can never let off the gas. High side. Where is it? Oh, yeah, you stick to your side. We have to get out. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, you gotta stick to your side. Looks like all the way. Around the corner, you can see dirt over there. And it's... Oh, fuck. There's no way we can get out. Now the sun's shining. Mm-hmm. Well, good. If we wait long enough, it'll drive all the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't know what to do. Days. So what side do I stick to, left? I think we stick to your side, the driver's side. That side, left. Needless to say, despite how dangerous it was to drive through those giant puddles that were about three feet deep with our new van, we did make it out okay. Unfortunately, along with a few other things, our tent will no longer be in our videos because it got extremely soaked and flooded inside so I took it to my mom's to try to dry it in the dryer and it melted and ripped so unfortunately we did lose our $250 12 person cabin tent so stay tuned on our channel to see what we're gonna buy next for our camping trips hopefully you guys all like this video and we'll catch you guys in the next one peace